The Wagner mercenary group has stopped its march on Moscow at just 200 kilometers away from the capital. The head of the group says it's to avoid shedding Russian blood. It's after Yevgeny Prigozhin had vowed to topple Russian military leaders after his group had taken control of the southern city of Rostov-on-Don on Saturday. Понимая всю ответственность за то, что будет пролита русская кровь с одной из сторон, мы разворачиваем свои колонны и уходим в обратном направлении в полевые лагеря согласно плану. The announcement appears to have diffused a growing crisis. It followed a statement from the office of Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko after he says he'd negotiated a deal with Prigozhin. The statement says Lukashenko had also discussed the issue with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Evgeny Brikozhin is one of Russia's richest and most influential men and self-professed founder of the Wagner Mercenary Group. The 61-year-old was born in the same city as Russian President Vladimir Putin in St. Petersburg. After spending nine years in prison for stealing when he was a young man, he began selling hot dogs with his mother and eventually owned several businesses, including restaurants and casinos. He cooked and served for Putin, who was dining with French President Jacques Chirac in 2001. Putin also celebrated his birthday at one of Prigozhin's restaurants and soon became known as Putin's cook. It's reported that the oligarch says he started up the Wagner Group in 2014, when, according to condemnation from the West, Russia illegally annexed Crimea. Prigozhin is outspoken with his criticisms of Russian officials and the war in Ukraine, particularly with Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shaigu. And now his latest complaint is that recent strikes on his men on Friday were ordered by Russian military leaders. Putin has ordered his arrest. In Kyiv, there's cautious hope that the conflict between the Wagner Group and other Russian forces might be a turning point in the war. Ukrainian President Zelensky tweeted that it was a sign of obvious weakness, which could help Ukraine protect Europe from the spread of Russian evil and chaos. The Ukrainian capital was again hit by missiles on Saturday. At least two people have been killed in Kyiv during the early hours of Saturday after a fresh barrage of Russian missiles. It's after falling debris caused a fire on several floors of a 24-story apartment block. It happened in a central district of the Ukrainian capital. Several other residents have been injured. Ukrainian officials say more than 20 missiles were detected and destroyed during the night. Explosions were also heard in the country's second city of Kharkiv, according to the local mayor. Former Prime Minister and Conservative New Democracy leader Kriakos Mitsotakis heads into the second round of Greece's election on Sunday as the favourite. His party failed to win a large enough majority in the first poll in May, but is expected to do so this time. Τη γενναία στήριξη της κυβέρνησής μας για να μείνουν όρθιες η οικονομία και να μείνει όρθια η κοινωνία. Κάνοντας παράλληλα όμως πράξη και όλα όσα είχαμε δεσμευτεί. The leader of the main opposition Syriza party, Alexis Tsipras, held his final rally in the port of Thessaloniki. He spoke of a just society of equal opportunity, but in fact he's fighting for his political survival. Είναι το όραμα μιας χώρας και μιας κοινωνίας, ανθρωπιάς, δημοκρατίας, δικαιοσύνης. The man who wants to replace Cyprus as the main opposition is the leader of PASOK, Movement for Change Party, Nikos Andrulakis.